question that Sharon sent us. Thank you so much for your question, Sharon. It says that a chef is preparing a meal that needs 3.7 kgs of rice. So I'll just write that down. 3.75 kgs of rice. And then we need 1.5 kgs of beef. So 1.5 kgs of beef. The beautiful thing about this question is that we've already been given the same unit of measurement throughout. So we don't need to do any conversions in between. The first question says to us that rice is sold in packets of 2 kgs. And like I said, mass literacy is such a... Um, common um, question in terms of real life like you need to be able to picture that thing and two kgs of rice is something that you would often find when you go to the shops so it says that rice is sold in packets of two kgs how many packets will he need um, for the meal this is a beautiful question so 3.75 kgs is needed but if you go to the shops Common sense, if you go to the shops, you cannot buy 3.75 kgs, okay? So we are told that the rice comes in 2 kgs. So you can't go and say um, to whatever shop that, you've, that you're going to, listen here, I need 3.75 kgs of rice. It doesn't work like that. So you need to take it in the context that you've been given in. And we are told that rice is only available in 2 kgs. What does this mean? If I only buy 2 kgs, it's going to be too little. So what do I need to do? I need to add another 2 kgs. And if I add another 2 kgs, what is it going to give me? 4 kgs. It means that I'm going to be buying 4 kgs um, of rice. 4 kilograms of rice. So here it says, how many packets will he need um, for the meal? So because this person is going to need 4 kilograms, it means that they're going to need um, 2 packets. Okay, so number 1 over there means we need 2 packets. to feed um, that particular community or whoever the chef is, call, is, is going to be accommodating. Number two, if rice costs 31 rand, if rice costs 31 rand, um, 50 per 2 kg, calculate the total cost of the rice that is going to be needed. So I've got my two packets over there. It means that if one packet is that much, it's going to be two packets times the 31 rand and 50 cents. So if I'm given like that, that's what I need to do. So it's going to be 31 rand and 50 cents times two packets. That's going to be 63 rand. Always remember your unit of measurement. We are working with money. Money is in rands in this particular case um, that we have been given. So we go to number three over there. If beef costs 41 rand and 75 cents per kg, if your beef costs 41 rand and 75 cents, Per kg, calculate the total cost um, of the beef that is going to be needed. So in this particular case, we need 1.5 kilograms of beef. Remember, that's what we said in the question. So that's 1.5 kilograms times 41 rand and 75, which is then going to give us, sorry about that, um, it's going to give us 1.5, 1.5 times 41 rand and 75 cents SD, 62 rand. And remember, we're going to be rounding it off to two decimal places because this is money that we are talking about. So it's giving us 62 rand. And if I go back there, it's going to be 6 to 5. And because it's 6 to 5, I know 
I know that money needs to be two decimal places. Money cannot be three decimal places. So going down there, it's going to be this two affected by that five, 62 rand and 63 cents. So that's how much you are going to need um, for the beef. Number four, nice and easy, says to us, um, calculate the total cost of the rice and the beef. Every single time you hear the word total, anytime you hear the word total, it means you are adding things together. So now we've calculated the rice separately. We've calculated the beef separately. We need to add them together. So that's going to be 62 rand, 63 cents plus 63 rand. So whatever total that we are getting over there is going to be our answer. So it's 62 rand and 63 plus 63, which is going to give us 125 rand and 63 cents. 125. and 63 cents. So this is how much I'm gonna to need to cater for eight people um, who are going to be eating rice and beef. Thank you so much to Sharon for this question. I hope that this was really helpful for you. And in terms of methods, you know, sometimes people get so caught up um, in terms of methods and, oh, this is correct and this is not. As long as we're getting the same answer and it's for the amount of marks that you need. This particular question was out of four. So we didn't need to do that much work.